Okay, uh, I'm making this video for uh, for you, King Killer. Uh, I just wanted to give you an example of uh, of my RS and how it operates and the pressure. Um, you, you mentioned that you're, you're concerned about the bore size of the paint. I have here some uh, some uh, extra hot box paint just to show you the barrel fit. This is the stock barrel. Um, you can see it kind of just rolls through, so it's not it's not a really tight fit. Okay, that's clear. So I'm just gonna uh, air it up, show you the pressure I'm running at. As you can see, the screw is uh, pretty much all the way out, maybe two or three turns in. Um, it has the clamping feed neck, uh, Tadal board. It's set on wrapping, so you can see uh, how well it shoots. Everything else is pretty much stock. I mean, and this this is one of my favorite guns. So I'm gonna go ahead and air it up, and we'll see how it shoots. I'll show you the PSI I'm at. One thing I, I, I suspect that um, might have caused wear on your spring was that it was left cocked. When it's cocked, you're actually compressing it, which loses the uh, elasticity of the spring. So and my guess is that the problem is mainly your mainspring. It's probably lost its um, elasticity, so it doesn't give you that nice spring when it when the hammer releases. So you always want to store it uncocked. But I like to cock it when I air it up. So. The leaks. And I'm going to be using the uh, Prophecy Hopper. Stock, no extra boards. Loosen it up. So you can see where I'm at. I'm about 375 psi. Uh, the the red mark being 300, uh, the other larger white being 400, almost touching 400. So I would say about 375. Just load up some paint here. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, I was at 375. Let's do some chrono. What am I doing? so you can see I'm between 255 and 265 uh, you know the barrel match isn't great but I, I imagine going up to 400 would get me like right around 280 so let me just see how it runs on ramping there you go 